My name is Taylor John Williams. This is Pop Stop TV. Uh, thank you guys for voting. Keep on watching and let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, I am obsessed over your fashion every single week. Do you do this all by yourself or do you guys actually have a stylist? Um, we have an entire wardrobe department and um, I have a very clear idea of what I like and don't like, so that's that's important. And um, But they're great to work with. And this jacket, I mean, they customized it. They, they came up with this fabric and sort of stitched it in. And okay. It's, I've always been really happy with, with how it works out. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm sure wardrobe is so important when you're going on stage, performing. you got to look and feel your best, right? Totally. Yeah. So how do you feel about your performance tonight? I felt great about it. I did exactly what I wanted to do. And hopefully that translates to America. But uh, either way, that's that's why I'm here. I want to I wanna do my best. And if that, if that takes me all the way, cool. If it sends me home, then... That's that's fine. Definitely. Now I'm gonna take you back to day one when you were auditioning for The Voice. Day one seems like so long ago, but it's only a couple of weeks, right? So when you were a few more weeks. <laughs> day, day one of this whole day thing? One, yeah, like a couple of months ago. This was back in like December. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So let me ask you this: When you first auditioned for The Voice, you went in through the doors. You sang. You did your own thing. Did you know that you were gonna get this far into the competition? Of course not. No way. Uh, reality TV is a weird machine, and it's it's hard to to know what's going on behind you know closed doors. This is this has been a, a great, honest, like wonderful show. The people have been so so great to to all of us. But I don't I don't know what goes on. So I just wanted to you know do my best. I was hesitant to even do this in the first place. It's it's so bizarre to me that I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I haven't had the time to kind of sit down and let it soak in, but okay. um, no, I never thought I'd be here. Okay. And how much has the show changed your life? I don't know yet, because I haven't gotten to really experience like real life. Mm -hmm. It's it's been it, it's okay. kind of like Truman Showy, okay. and it it almost doesn't feel real. Uh -huh. um, but I can only imagine it's going to be positive. Uh, you know, I've I've developed a following and, and I've gotten to put my message out there and, and, and represent myself, I think, how I want to. And yeah, I, I think it can only be positive. Definitely. And your social media following has certainly gone up. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. The tweets are blowing up, man. Okay. What was like the best comment you've ever gotten from a fan online? Um, that I look like a deformed llama and that I, that the, that I, um, I was, that he, he hoped that I would catch on fire and die. I think it was, it was a joke, but I, I like, I genuinely thought it was funny. I, I created a hashtag that, that was team deformed llama on fire. So it, that's, that's some dedication. I'm not going to lie. And creativity too, right? That, yeah. Dude, that's a shout out, dude. I, I know that you're probably like just joking around, but I genuinely thought it was funny. So don't think I'm trying to hate on you. No hate. <laughs> well, thank you so much for chatting with us.